Okay, let me double check. Ah, we are live already. Ah, yeah, we can only go to live. Okay, that's nice. Hello, everybody. Hi, I'm Joel, Daddy Bobby Chef, and I have with me my dear friend, ah, Master Jason Chan from Jomancy Culture. Hello, everybody. Today is two E. Yay! Chinese style. Survive. Yeah, seven months gone. Now it's yes, finally. time to to do something. Buy house. <laughs> <laughs> buy a house, move house, house. Start Reno. <laughs> yeah, start Reno. Hey, you all know, right? Uh, today, uh, uh, a lot, as I share with all of you, right? Singapore developers, they are all very superstitious one. Uh. Today also is the uh, first day of preview for uh, Sky Eden. Okay, Sky Eden. Uh, the new launch project in... Bedok, okay. Coincidentally, it's not a coincidence uh, actually because we, we plan to talk about District 16. So uh, today we'll cover a bit about Sky Eden as well. So, uh, yeah, la, not much view, uh, viewers now, uh, but actually uh, I don't know how many of you um, saw our latest TikTok. Uh. So anyway, just to share with you, uh, Master Jason, uh, okay, uh, Jason, uh, Jason. Uh. Every time I call him Master Jason, I feel very awkward. Okay, Jason and myself, right? We are going to launch. Uh, we are we have launched a new TikTok series, okay, which will be talking about individual projects. We'll give you uh the pros and cons of a project within one minute. So if you are uh, uh our Facebook friends or uh, our followers on TikTok, right? You just share in the comment which project you like to see. Master, ah, uh, Jay, master. Okay, Jason and myself, right? We will, we will look through the project for you. We'll share with you the basic pros and cons. But of course, if you want an in-depth study, right? Then you have to reach out to us personally, lah. Because ultimately, you must understand, TikTok only one minute, lah. There's only so much you can say. Yeah, okay? I, I think, I think you all might maybe also feeling too boring when you talk about district too gen generic. So we decided to zoom yeah. down to the individual condo the development to actually check it out for you and then give you some quick one minute tip. So hopefully yeah. you like this and then also encourage you to come out on our program and also ask question and then so that right. uh, you, you can have more insightful tips uh, because so many projects we may not be able to cover all but if you have one in mind just just put down in our group chat and then we will see what we can do for you. Mm. So uh, I uh, later I also show you all the our latest TikTok. Okay, so now without further ado, hey Jason, we forgot today who start first. Mm, I, I can start first. Huh? Okay, yeah. <laughs> or, or you so start. Jason will share with you the Feng Shui about uh District Sixteen first today. Yeah, so we will talk about Bedok lah. So Bedok, right? Uh, this some of the pictures that uh, I I taken in the past. So as we all know, where is Bedok location? If you don't know, you must be not be a Singaporean. Bedok is actually in the southeast of Singapore, very near to the East Coast. Yeah, so it's a very pop, very sought after and popular place uh, because we all like East Coast. So it's just outside of East Coast. And if you notice, they share a lot of uh, similarity in terms of the landscape of the place it's because it's, it's overall is quite a flat land. And also have some hills and valleys nearer to the Chai Chi side. La. So you notice also there are, there are a lot of land that is also, also found in Bedok. La. So if you catch our previous series where you talk about East Coast Tampanese, right? We know that uh, this uh, Bedok Reservoir wasn't a reservoir in uh, many, many years ago. La. It was dug and then put in the uh, East Coast as a reclaimed land. Uh. So this, if you catch us in the uh, Japanese Bedou East Coast uh, episode, right? if you haven't, right, go back and watch it. And then you also gain some insightful tips. Which one should you pick? Should you pick Bedou? Should, should you pick East, East Coast? Or should you put, take Japanese? Uh? Yeah, so if you catch us on every episode, I will repeat and repeat my three pointers, which is the Tai Chi and Ren now. So Thai, we talk about wealth. Qi, we talk about the connectivity, the infrastructure, and Ren, we talk about the people in the place, staying, using the place. So wealth of Bedok, right? Wealth in Bedok, right? Um, if, if you look across the land, you see industrial in Bedok. It's a rather old estate. 
and also uh, their shopping centers uh, is at, at the right uh, smack of this uh, MRT station. You have uh, the Bedok Mall, and also there, there is also the Land Transport Authority Bedok campus. Uh. Yeah, so it's where all the the I think the bus drivers go there to learn. Uh. Then also we have the Bedok Camp, and then not too far we with connection with the expressway, right? We are Bedok is connected to the airport and as well as the CBD area very easily. Uh. So when you talk about the chi, the energy of the place, right? That's just now uh, when I mentioned about the expressway, right? PIE and ECP. Uh. So they share a lot of similarity with East Coast. So, and then also the train system and then the bus interchange. Uh. So a lot of vibrancy, a lot of uh, connectivity. Uh. So you will know that Bedok has one of the more vibrant chi along that stretch. Uh. And then the people, when we look around, you can see international school, you can see tertiary education. I'm sure if you look through the map, right, you know who, which uh, famous JC is there. And also we talk about, uh, of course, HDB, every, almost every part of Singapore will have a HDB. And then the uh, private, uh, private estate and also the, the landed as well. So the one tip that I'll share for you in terms of Feng Shui, right? Choose closer to East Coast. Huh? <laughs> I'm sure this is a no-brainer. Everybody will know why. Totally yeah. agree. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's all for my slide. So Singapore recently uh, released a lot of uh, HDB. Am I right, jo Joel? Yes, a lot, which I'll share yeah. with you all. Yeah. So Singapore really doing a, a lot of for for the people. <laughs> <laughs> well, whether they are doing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Before people, before yeah. I I carry on right. Uh, remember just now I talked about the airport right. Uh, as we all know, if you watch uh, our our prime minister talk about his rally speech right, T five is coming up, so there will be lots of um, uh, business generated from the the airport lah. So. But though it's actually very close uh, in getting the tea from the airport. Mm. Mm, okay. Hey, Justin, can you hear me or not? Yes, loud and clear. Oh, sorry. Because suddenly my mic got disconnected just now. Okay. So, thank you, Jason, for sharing with us. Uh, basically, today I will also talk about, uh, I will carry on with what I mentioned previously uh, about Bodok. Okay, so District 16, right? Let's have a look at the master plan first. Uh. Because we know uh, Joel Segment is talking about master plan. So basically, right, Bodok uh, comprises of a lot of things. Uh, you must understand. Bodok, there's the Bodok Reservoir area, Bodok Main Town, okay? And of course, we have Siglap, uh, Siglap area, Bayshore area. Okay, so one thing about uh, Bedok, right? I'll cut them into three portions. Uh, we'll, we'll talk one by one. Uh. So Bedok Reservoir area, right? As I shared in my last segment, uh, Bedok Reservoir area, uh, basically all the lands are taken up already. Okay, the biggest excitement coming to this. And of course, we all know that there's the new MRT line already. Okay. So the biggest uh, excitement coming to this area will be the launch of Paliba Air Base. So for, the, I think it was the National Day Rally, right? Uh, PM Lee also mentioned that 150,000 houses uh, will be, will be uh, built. Uh. That means it will be homes to, there will be 150,000 homes uh, coming. Uh. And that is only for public housing. Uh. I remind you all. Public housing. Uh. So, Assuming right, assuming 150,000 houses right, each household accommodate four person uh, that will be 600,000 already. Okay, so Paraleba, uh, former Paraleba Air Base should be able to house 600,000 uh, people. Uh. There is also this, you all can see the yellow piece right, this is the industrial land. Okay, this is the industrial land, which also means that there's going to be more businesses, more uh, uh, more job opportunities coming around, okay? Let's have a look. Uh, 
private residential land they have not cut up yet. So if you were to ask me, uh, for those who want to stay in Birdo, uh Reservoir site, right? You have no choice uh, at this current moment. You have to only buy the resale. And at, as, at this current moment, we all know, right? Birdo Reservoir, um, one, some of the more sought-after projects are the Waterfront series by Far East, okay? Uh, namely, the four projects, Waterfront Waves, Waterfront Key, Waterfront Owls, and what's the other one? Uh, waterfront uh, Front... Did I say Waves? Uh? Yeah, anyway, it's just the, the four projects, uh, huh? And there's also Archipelago right at the end. For other projects, right, they are all much older in, uh, in tenure. La. And the interesting part is all the projects down here are 99 year leasehold. So which means to say, uh, no freehold, no... If, if you are buying uh, not the waterfront series, right? The other projects may be a bit older already, uh, 20 over years. So if you were to hold for another 10 to 15 years, right? Then you have to pray, pray, pray very, very hard uh, for uh, any on-block possibility. Uh. But then uh, my question to you is this. Uh, if Paya Leba Airbase, right? Former Paya Leba Airbase uh, is going to have so much pieces of puzzles of land uh, ready, right? Then you, you'll be at the so-called mercy of government land, land sales. Uh. If government release land like nobody's business in order to perk up our reserve, right? Then I foresee a problem. Uh, I foresee a problem. Okay. Next. Let's. Oh, yeah. By the way, when I keep emphasizing that Singapore still have a lot of land, right? If for those who have been following us from the very beginning, uh, you start to see, right? Hey, hey Joel is correct. Uh. It seems that well, more and more residential are coming coming out and fast and furious, you know. They are coming out at the rate of fast and furious. Okay? So, as we were talking about uh, previously for East Coast, right? East Coast has not much land already. Uh, in fact, very, very, very limited uh, empty lands. Uh. So, for East Coast, right? If you were to purchase East Coast, there is a good opportunity that uh, developers may be aiming for residential areas down there uh, for on block. But the older ones are uh, definitely... But let's have a look at Bayshore area, right? Bayshore area. One of my preferred projects. Uh, one of my preferred projects. Uh, Bayshore Park. Okay. Very huge land size. Uh, but as I mentioned multiple times, a bit hard for individual developer to swallow for on block. Uh. So this one on block, if you ask me, uh, in, I don't foresee it coming in the next five years. Uh. Oh, unless uh, developers join up to be a consortium uh, to take over this whole land. Uh, but it also depends on whether the owners are willing to sell or not. Because you must understand, the houses down there uh, are ridiculously big. Uh, are ridiculously big. Um, let me just show you. Uh, let me... Uh, yeah, they are all very huge size. Uh, and look at the land, man. This is a whole piece of land. Uh, you got, you, let's have a look at uh, the, the current projects. Where is this? Ah, seaside residences. You see, ah, developer, right, fully fill up the land one. Okay, fully fill up the land. And look at this. Okay, look at this. Bayshore Park. You tell me, can developer build at least double? I tell you, I think can, you know. But also depending on whether residents are willing to sell or not. Okay, this is one thing. Then, oh, over here, on the other side, right. Oh, you are hang. Give me a sec. Okay, yes. We'll have the we'll welcome the new uh Thompson East Coast Line Bayshore Station and uh Bodo South Station, uh, which should be around end of this year. They were saying uh, I I I I'm not very confident on this, uh, but I will eh, was it? Oh sorry, sorry, not not end of this year. I think this is for plan for next year. But look at by now you all should know, right? Master plan, uh, those cream areas, right? Are zoned for what? Residential, uh. All these are residential. All of these. Okay, over here is the Bedok camp, which we also don't know uh, whether it move or not. Or if it moves, uh, look at this piece of land. Okay, I'm going to zoom, uh, zoom out. Okay. Pareba. This whole piece, I think can chop uh, about one quarter uh, 
Oh, we talk about residential. Uh. Down here, maybe cannot do 150. Okay, down here, maybe we cannot do 150. But I think 50,000 definitely not an issue. Uh. Oh, 50,000 not an issue. So 50,000 plus 150. Uh. Wow. How many will that be? You all, you all calculate yourself. Okay. So these are the top and bottom of District 16. Now we look at Bedok Town, uh, main town itself. Uh. Bedok main town. Okay, the old east-west line, we have uh, Bedok MRT station. So, the most exciting talk of the town now, right, is of course uh, Sky Eden Bedok. Uh, Sky Eden Bedok. Uh. So, now I'm going to share with you all. This is from the news. Okay, Sky Eden Bedok uh, at Bedok is going to start, prices to start from 1.31 million. So what concept is that? Because nowadays, I think everybody knows, uh, looking at private properties, know about uh, this thing called per square foot, right? Per square foot, uh, that means how much you pay per square foot for that property. Uh. So assuming that our residential uh, two bathers, right? Of course, 1.31 is the lowest price. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, two bathers, uh, two bathers uh, is 1.31 million. Uh. Okay, 1.31 million. Uh. Uh, please think of this. Let's go for the smallest size, uh, six, five, seven square feet. Uh. So currently based on, we use a simple calculator. Okay, calculator online. 1.31 million. Talk, talk, talk. Okay. Divided by six, five, seven. Uh. Almost $2,000 per square foot. Okay, so that means to say, uh, say Sky Eden is going to start from $2,000 per square foot because you know the starting price is always the lowest. Uh. Let me share this thing with you all. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I always love it uh, when, I, when I do this. Uh. I, I cut up the projects. Okay, I'm going to share with you, right? Hi, Eden. Come, let's see the price. Okay, Birdo Point, redevelopment. Please take note, uh, it is called redevelopment. Uh. It's not on block, okay? That means developer did not purchase the land from uh, the current owners. Uh. So redevelopment means the developer, they themselves own this piece of land, okay? For 99 years lease. Uh. So, Previously it was a uh, previously it was Bedok Point, uh, no residential, right? So now they redevelop this commercial into a commercial commercy. They top up the lease, uh, now the current break-even price is 1218 per square foot. Okay, not Joel say one. Uh, this is each property giving you the break-even. Uh, tender price not inclusive of uh differentiate shown price and Least top up, of course, lah. You know why or not? There's no tender price, what? They own this land itself, so the break even currently is at thousand two. Eh. Okay, I give you another hundred dollars, ah, which is impossible, lah. But I give you another hundred dollars per square foot for marketing and commission, lah. Because by right, there's already marketing in already. You know, I just give you another hundred dollars per square foot, lah, for commission, lah, commission. Let's say you give fantastic commission, lah. So, ah, uh, I drive it up to one three of. 1350, okay? 1350. Uh. So at this current moment, if we are saying uh, the starting per square foot uh, is 1993, uh, okay? 1993 minus away 1350 PSF. Uh. That means the break even plus inflated. Uh, I give you an inflated uh, commission. Uh. It's $643 uh, per square foot profit. Uh. $643 per square foot profit divided by 1993. It's 32%. But is this how you calculate? No, it's not. It's... Hey, sorry, uh, give me a second. 1993. Uh. Okay, 1993 minus 1350. Uh. 643. Uh. So 643 divided by 1350. Wow, profit 47%. Uh, that is based on the starting form, you know. 
And I dare to tell you ah, I dare to tell you ah, the price should hit above two thousand two. Jason, you you agree or not? Yes, I I agree. Yeah, uh. everywhere. You remember hot side, right? Yeah. You remember hot side, right? Yes. No, seriously speaking, leh. Honestly speaking, ah, uh, ah, uh, last month Angmo residences sold at two thousand two per square foot. You know, and Angmo residences is not even the the heart of Angmo Q. Ah, two thousand two average per square foot. Everybody. Buy like nobody's business, ah! Uh. You tell me today, Sky Eden at Bedok developer. If you are developer, you wanna sell how much? Two thousand two. Minimally, right? I think I, 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 I'm worried, ah! Uh. I'm actually worried that the price will hit up to two thousand five. You know, if it hits up to two thousand five, ah, uh, what developer almost making hundred percent profit? Almost hundred percent profit. Correct. You 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 see ah uh, now I I share with you guys ah uh, okay we we don't we don't talk about ah uh, now we don't talk about sky either we we look back at Angmo right Angmo residences one eight two two PSF you know. I'm all residents to one eight two two PSM. I I show you all the 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 research price. Wait, man, I like fix. Eh, why why some? Give me a second. Ever since. Ever since wow, where's my research? It's on this side. Eh? Sorry, give a sec. Yeah, my research. Okay, I'm going to look at more residences. Ah, eh? more residents search. I'm gonna show you all. Y'all, y'all be shocked. Two thousand two H pop don't want me to show the figure. <laughs> they don't dare to let me show. Me a sec, ah. Joel, I saw government say that they will launch the it's more BTO in non mature estate on uh, just next three days. <laughs> yeah, correct. Next Later Tuesday. I share with you all how much, how many, how many projects are there, lor. Okay, ah, you see, ah, while well, this one. I I I don't know why ah uh, suddenly they don't they don't <laughs> they they don't let me show uh. okay ladies and gentlemen you see ah uh, average per square foot ah uh, you can see by yourself right let me let me zoom ah uh. oh hey, come on already yeah uh, see ah uh. the highest per square foot is two four zero six ah uh. the average per square foot is two one one three only you know. And there is a starting price of one eight nine zero PSF. I think you all remember what I said, right? It's one eight two two, ah. So the average per square foot is two one one three. You know, H pop say one uh, again. Uh, H pop say one. No, I say one. Uh. So I'm gonna do a calculation, uh. Let's let's give it two thousand two, lah. I think two one one three really very humble, lah. Let's give it two thousand two, okay? Let's give it two thousand two, okay? Minus away one eight two two ah. It's three hundred and seventy eight dollars per square foot. Ah, uh, profit ah. So divided by one eight two two ah. Eh, twenty percent ah. But ladies and gentlemen, I forgot to tell you one thing. You know, the commission ah, the commission ah, the commission was um two point five percent. You know, to agency leh. So basically, ah, uh, based on twenty percent, ah, twenty percent, right? We deduct off 
two point two point ah two point five percent right to agency ah developer only earn a seventeen point five percent eh eh U O L also very reputable developer you know so U O L sold at seventeen point five percent profit then Sky Eden is gonna hit a forty seven percent profit wow. Jason, just now I used two thousand dollars per square foot, right, for Sky Eden, or nineteen point? Oh no, I didn't even use two thousand, right? I think nineteen ninety three, one nine nine. Yeah, I used the starting per square foot nineteen ninety three. You know, I didn't even hit two thousand, eh? Ah, so you all tell me lah. You all tell me. If I'm going to give ten percent, ten percent commission to agents, ah, can't be right. So ah, uh, Sky I, I Eden. They use good finishing. <laughs> no, you. I can tell you, FCL confirm will be good finishing one. But my 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 question is this: Ah, uh, they caught you right. They caught you. Oh, Amokyo sell two thousand two. So why should I be selling? Ah, uh, I should not be selling cheaper, right? So Amokyo make profit seventeen point five percent. How much profit are you making? So I I hope that ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please understand one very very important thing. You know that. You you must you all really must understand ah uh, that ah uh, developers right they are out to make money one eh uh, or they are not there to do charity one eh uh. that's why I tell a lot of people Angmao residences are uh, really drop my jaw eh uh. in fact it drop a lot of the ah uh, those ah uh, very senior agents jaws you know because how can it be so humble at one eight two two ah uh, I don't even factor in agents comma. How can it be this type of price? I can I can share with you. All. Okay, let's look at the let's look at the sales ah. Uh. Okay, based on based on high per square foot ah. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, you all see by yourself based on per square foot right. Only one unit hit two thousand four. You know one unit lah, uh, one unit lah. Uh. Ah, then the rest two thousand two thousand three one two three. Four, five. Hey, wait, ah. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So plus that two thousand four unit, ah. Only a total, ah, of thirteen units broke two thousand three or ah uh, hit two thousand three or above two thousand three dollars per square foot. You know. The rest are all below two thousand two. So what is you? What was UOL thinking of when they when they launch the project? Ah, they decided to. We have two hands. Ah, we sell you at a good price. The for so for those who bought ah, those who bought Amo Residences right. Then I can only say this thing. Yeah, congratulations to you. Ah, the price ah based on developers profit not too bad lah. But the price ah, ladies and gentlemen, the price ah. Based on Amokyo as a whole, ah, you all have to go and consider, ah. Oh, then we look at, ah, we look back at, at this, ah, Sky Eden, right? For Sky Eden, ah, honestly speaking, ah, whether the price is good or not, right? Hey, oh yeah, I forgot. Jason, our latest TikTok, right? Let's look at Bedok Residences. Bedok Residences, ah, is built. It's a full, ah,、uh, full commercial complex, right? Okay, it's a full commercial complex, yeah. Eh, why I open this? Ah,、uh? I want to open research. Sorry, give me a sec. Let's look at ah,、uh, Bedok Residences, which is just beside. Oh, this one always take very long. Let me switch it off. Okay, maybe before that, right? Ah,、uh, while it's loading, ah,、uh, let me just show you. For those of you who have not seen it, right? Who have not seen it, ah,、uh, let me just show you our latest TikTok. <laughs> I disclaim it just for fun, ah,、uh, all those action, and then. <laughs> yeah, but but do ah,、uh, please 
uh, please understand uh, one one thing is uh, why 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 we are doing this okay we hang I hope not Jason, you can hear the music or not? Yeah, I can hear. But it's a bit soft. Huh? Soft? Okay, yes. Oi, bad yet, we gateway. Are you serious? Uh, so sad. I, I, I really wanted to show you all this. Okay, so uh, maybe I explain a bit uh, about uh, just now what I mentioned in uh, for Bedok residences, right? What I mentioned, um, why I mentioned that uh, they may have some difficulties for on block uh, in the future. Uh. So when we are talk, looking at a commercial come uh, a mixed development, uh, a commercial come right? One one thing that we may encounter, uh, one thing that we may encounter, right, will be the fact that. Okay, commercial commerce, yeah. The shopping mall component, right? If it's not strata, oh, if it's strata, we also have a problem. When it's strata, right? That means uh, individually owned by uh, different owners. Uh. Tenant mix may not be so good. Okay. But for, uh, I told you an example like uh, Midtown. Midtown, right? Yeah, Midtown. Uh, previously, Space at Coven, uh, but space at Coven now is, is quite cleared up already. It's, it's actually very good. Uh, what else? Okay, so when it's strata, right? The landlords for the shops, they are only concerned about uh, the rental amount that they are getting in. So they don't care who they rent out to, you know. So this is one big issue. But when we have malls uh, like uh, Bedok Residences where there, there is a big mall downstairs, right? And it's not strata. Uh, yes, we have very good tenant mix. But the issue is what? The malls also count as part of the uh, part of the whole building, you know? So when it comes to on block, right? You must hit an 80% uh, 80 before you can go for on block. But if the whole mall right is owned by developer uh, by one developer some more, uh, you think you can go for on block or not? No, unless that developer unblocks you, you know. And since they own a major share, do you think they will unblock you at a fantastic price? No lah. I tell you that's why for for mixed development, you tell me is it nice to stay in? I say it's perfect, convenience what? You tell me ah uh, potential? Yes, the first few years potential is fantastic. Okay, first. 20 years, uh, the potential is fantastic. You go further beyond that, right? Well, there will still be people who buy. I mean, those who want to enjoy the uh, the convenience will still buy from you. Uh, but as the building gets older, when the when the maintenance gets higher, right? What will be the issue? The issue will also be whether you can <clears throat> whether you can uh, get uh, sell it off on block or not. Most likely, it's going to be a bit tough. Uh. That's why I say uh, difficulty for on block in the future. Another example I encode you is the recent Sky Eden. You see what happened? The whole commercial, right? Uh, now the whole commercial is still owned by Fraser, right? So what will happen in the future? We will never know. 
unless you tell me the commercial is less than 20 percent uh, but you think about it if the commercial is less than 20 percent how many how many shops will have yeah like for example sky eden only have one level of shop you know <laughs> what would it be there uh and you see uh what was, what's the big one uh? NTUC got got the big one. I don't know. I forgot. I forgot extra. what it's called. Huh? NTUC Sorry? extra. Ah uh, yes, it? NTUC extra. Eh? Is it extra? Whatever lah. Anyway, the, yeah, the super extra. big ones are uh, the mega mart. Uh, it's not super mart. It's the mega mart. Uh. They will never happen one. Uh. If there is a mega mart, then I tell you, then there is only one eatery already. Then there is no 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 huge variety of shops. Uh. So this is also an issue. Yeah, but <coughs> let's look at uh uh Bedo, residences uh. so congratulations uh. now average per square foot is 1495 uh. if let's say sky eden is going to break the break the 2002 per average per square foot right then eh, those who buy Bedo residences in five years time can hit thousand seven thousand eight or not i don't know uh. but you can try uh. definitely you can try that uh. but those who bought a thousand six plus right Wow, a big challenge already. Yeah. We can try for 2000. I won't know. I mean, basically, if Sky Eden is already 2000 now, why, why Sky's the limit? What? Why you cannot try? And of, obviously, if you ask me, right, I think I will choose Bodo Residence over Sky Eden, right? It's a full fledged mall. Right? The, the uh, transportation hub is just right below. The MRT station is directly opposite. Come, let's have a look at the sales uh, transaction <coughs> recently. Wow. 1495 per square foot only, so cheap. But the sizes, I suspect the, these are the two baders uh, or three bader compact. I don't know uh, if it, these are three bader compact. Uh, honestly speaking, guys, if you can write, try to avoid three baders, they are 800 over square feet. Uh, because 800 over square feet, three baders, right, usually uh, one of the bedrooms right, can only fit a single bed. And I've seen, uh, both bedrooms uh, can only fit single bed. Uh. This is worse. Uh. If a bedroom cannot hold, if a bedroom cannot hold a queen size bed, right, it's at the most called plus one. Uh. Let's be frank. Recently, I encountered a lot of agents. Uh. Uh, I, I, need, I really need to share this story. Uh. Guys, sorry. Uh. Because I was looking for uh, units for my customer. Uh. You know what the agent did? Agent advertised four bader, you know. Four bader. Uh. Listen carefully, four bader. Uh. The then I look at the size. Eh. Hey, the size, how to be a four bader. So I just I I I I just text him uh, hey bro, yours is a four bader, but also my bad. Also my bad. Because I didn't see a description. It's my bad, really my bad. I didn't see the description. I I text him. You know what he tell me? Oh, four bader is three bedrooms plus one utility room. Why well, really stun? Uh. Nowadays can advertise like this. Uh. Utility room is considered a bedroom, eh? Why don't you call why don't you count in the living room better? La? Count in the living room is more 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 realistic. Like HDB flat, ma. correct. So um I urge uh, I urge uh, our our fellow agents in the industry, uh, don't do this type of thing anymore. La. Seriously speaking, utility room is not a room. La. Come on. La. You tell me you you add, you calculate you count in study. I got nothing to say. Ah, uh. utility room, eh? Are you are you crazy? <laughs> okay, lah. Never mind. Ah, uh, that's just a little bit of grumble. Ah, uh, from my side. So, ah, uh, very simple. That's why I I share this thing with you. Ah, uh. like Jason, I also think that nearer to East Coast side. Uh, definitely more potential for District 16. Further up, uh, further up, uh, Bedok Reservoir, right? It's if you want to stay there, you have to buy there. Uh. You have to accept the price. Uh. No, no choice. Uh. At this current moment, I I just recently did a research 1004, 1005. Uh, okay, for those that are near MRT station. Uh, sorry, I mean 1004, 1005 per square foot. Uh. But if you ask me about the Bedok Town Central, uh, I will tell you this thing. Uh, Sky Eden. Based on what I shared with you, do you think it's a good buy? You decide for yourself. But I almost can guarantee you, right, you'll be fully stepped up. 100 over units, ma. 
hundred over units, then all the then nowadays Singaporeans think that uh they are they are afraid of having no houses. So I'm pretty sure it'll get snap up. Uh, but if you ask me whether it's a is a good deal or not, uh you have to decide for yourself. Because today, if you really need need uh, a brand new house in Bodo, you you're gonna stay there for 20 years. Yeah, of course you buy now. You buy you tell me 20 years from now won't hit three thousand, man. I think it will, you know. I think it will. 20 years from now, you hit 3,000. Yeah. But there is, if you really plan to stay there for 20 years, ah. huh? Okay. That's all I have to share with you all for Bedok tonight. I hope you all like what you hear. Or if you don't like what you hear, right? Well, that's just Daddy Property share, sharing my personal opinion. Ah. Okay. I'm just sharing my personal opinion after 14 years in the industry and looking at new launches for so many years. Uh, this is just my own two cents worth. I'm not 100% correct. Okay? I'm never 100% correct. But I'm just sharing with you how I look at the market and whether it is a very safe buy. La. If you ask me, if you are telling me that money is very important to you, then I'll ask you to think twice. But if you tell me you're going to stay there for 20 years, then you should not uh, be affected by what I say. Okay, if you are buying for long term, you should never, you should not be affected by what I say. But of course, a good entry price will be definitely below two thousand two. Uh. Uh, anything below two thousand one, uh, I think is a fantastic buy. Maybe you can even make money at TOP. Uh, that's my uh, personal personal um, perspective. Uh. Oh yeah, so sorry. Yeah, uh. one last thing. Uh. District 16, right, also covers all the way to uh, Tanamera. Uh. Tanamera, we never really talk about it, it much, right? Because uh, basically, we'll be sharing more TikToks on the area, uh, <laughs> the projects one by one. Uh. So Tanamera, uh, the only thing down here, if you ask me, uh, there's no town center. Okay, there's really no town center. There's a lot of projects. There's Optima. This one is what already? This is HDB. Oh, no, sorry. Casamera. The older ones, the East Meadow, then this is Urban Vista, and, and eh, what the new town? This one, Grandior Park. The Seneca Square is going to come up soon. This is a project by uh, one of my old friends, uh, MCC Land. I have launched a few of their projects, uh, mainly ECs previously. But of course, as you all know, this project is now on hold. Uh, reasons. Well, MCC land never say anything, lah, but usually when developer project on whole right, y'all can refer back to uh refer refer back to some of the cases uh, on newspaper. I shouldn't talk much uh, because later get into lawsuit. Uh. <laughs> they say I'm implying something because developer never say anything. Lah. BCA also never say anything. Uh, so I don't want to comment too much. Uh, but y'all can Google yourself on news. Uh. I mean anyway, information now is so easy, easily available. So Seneca Square on hold until God knows when uh, they they are able to so-called uh, submit for sales in October, praying for MCC land. Uh, not, although they may not be the best developer around, they have really picked up uh, quite a bit over the years. So hopefully everything goes smooth for them. And then of course, this piece of land uh, is still available. Uh. I pray uh, that they do a mixed D down here. Uh. Maybe government will change the uh, land usage and do a mixed D. Uh. If not, uh, really uh, down here, uh, MRT, you know, so bad. Eh. No, no, no malls, uh, no nothing. Oh, I see you're so sad. Okay, that's all for me. Hey, shit, shit, shit. I just realized one thing. Jason, I never yes. share, you never tell me. <laughs> I keep talking by myself eh, without sharing the screen. You never tell me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh, I don't think you need the screen. Uh, that's why I was not. Uh... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Guys, uh, just share with you. Uh, Tanamera, the MRT station. Uh, this is the Seneca, Seneca Square. Okay, this is the piece of government land uh, that is still available. La. Okay? So, let's see how it goes. Let's really see uh, how it goes. Government maybe now, now with you... Uh, in the map right like let me uh share with some feng shui pointers uh, using my yes. tai chi, uh, 
if you compare Bedok and Tanah Merah, right, I'm sure you know what Tanah Merah has and what Bedok uh, have and what Tanah Merah don't have. Yeah, mm. so for Tanah Merah, the chi uh, compared to Bedok uh, is it's a lot lesser la, because you see you don't have don't... The, the the this uh, interchange and also you, the wealth element also pretty weak la, compared to Tanah Merah and uh, Bedok. Then mm. also, just now, also, I didn't uh, share my part on this uh, Bedok residence. Uh. I think mm. Bedok residence, one thing I find, uh, the chi is very warm. Uh, it's so warm uh, that it attracts all kinds of people. Uh. So, mm. and, and because of the direction uh, of this, uh, this Bedok residence, right, actually, it's, uh, a lot of them face north-south facing, uh, if I'm not wrong. Uh. So, if you north-south, east-west, right, we call it a si, si da tao hua. So because of this, right, you will attract lots of people to the place. Uh. So uh, well, uh, where if you let's say you want to stay, right, you stay in a very bustling place. Uh. But let me shift your thinking. Uh. What if you do it for investment? Uh? Yeah, I mean, in terms of uh, rental, then uh, because you always have a uh, constant flow of uh, people. Uh, so I don't think you will be lacking of uh, uh, tenants. Uh. So mm. I mean... In Feng Shui, we like this type of uh, uh for this type of formation uh, when it comes to this uh, uh to attract people to the place uh. yeah so and because it's just next to the M MRT and then below is a uh, uh bus in the chain right there's a lot of vibration uh, that cannot be felt uh, by our human body but my low panic able to to feel uh, the the needle shaking every time when I'm near such places uh. so. What does it mean uh, for the human body, right? You may not consciously know, uh, but your body will feel it. Uh. So when body feel it, uh, it's not good to stay long term. Uh. So that's why, again, this one may be uh, not a very good for long term stay, uh, your own own stay, but it's a very good place uh, when you talk about investment. Uh. Maybe you can rent uh, to people that works in the airport or, or CBD since it's so widely connected to these two wealth areas. Uh. So, mm. I mean... Well, maybe we can advise also on the rental, <laughs> like uh, this, this such places. Uh, yeah, so, like? so this is one thing uh, that I also want to share uh, in my in our TikTok video, right? I also mentioned one thing. Uh, most the tenants most likely uh, may be coming from other parts, uh, from other towns, uh, other areas. Uh. Okay, first and foremost, why? Directly opposite, right? Directly opposite. Uh, is is going too slow. Never mind. I just I'm just gonna tell you. So directly opposite are industrial areas, uh. These are industrial areas, okay? Then, the let me share with you what is the rental, uh. Then you all under, understand what I'm talking about. Uh, because this style of formation not everywhere in Singapore have. Uh. Then also uh. this uh, direction also not every developer. Uh, just nice is there with uh, this. Uh, this in the change and this uh, MRT. Uh. So, I mean, like Joel said, you must see good entry price and do your math, math and then you see whether you, how much you can rip off of uh, this uh, property. <laughs> Precisely. So, this I'm going to show you guys one thing. Uh. You all look at the rental price now. January this year, a four beta, this one I think is the super big size one, uh, 8,005. 6008. I think this one should be the penthouse. Okay. 6003. This one most likely also three beta penthouse. But this size, right, cannot be three beta penthouse already, right? 6003. You tell me, uh, industrial, <laughs> the CEO come and rent. Uh. Can't be the normal workers come and rent at this type of price, right? Correct. It's not cheap, you know? Seriously, yeah, I was like, I was very shocked. Eh. 6,000 was for the penthouses. This was the obvious one. Based on the size, we know for obvious, this is the penthouse one. But mm. normal three beta now hit 6,003 eh, for Birdo. Eh. You guys tell me. Lah. Oh, we, we, we go by the list. Okay, we go by the list. Uh, we also got two beta, 4,000. Guys, I just ran out. Uh, uh, Kensington Square. Penthouse 5002, you know, to white collars, eh, working nearby. Eh. They were still, they were already complaining that the rental is high, you know. 6,000 for Birdo. 
Are you serious? I don't know. Uh, oh, but so that's why I mentioned in the video, right? Uh, tenants may most likely be coming from other areas. Uh, oh. So, yeah, so, yeah. so we also know the shopping center, right? Then also other facilities. I know there's a hawker center just next door also. So all these are actually attract lots of people to the place. Uh. So we haven't uh, visited Sky Eden yet. So I'm not too sure how their, their formation are. Uh. Maybe there's some spillover effect. I also not sure. This one I, I need to check their their direction, their uh, their layout of their development. Uh. But Joel yeah. maybe can share more on maybe the the price in the future, uh, maybe the rental and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know la. If you ask me, right, I can I can just I just just share one thing with you all. If today, right, if today uh 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 wait uh. so let's say if you were to purchase a uh, two beta at 1.31 million uh, okay to hit a 3.5 percent rental yield right 3.5 percent rental yield uh, because you all if you all follow me long enough you should know already uh, a basic rental yield to cover that was previously before the interest hike uh, the, the in order to cover the uh, monthly installment right for 75 percent loan uh, at below two percent interest uh, it should be around to three point five percent so for the five thousand eight hundred and fifty what does that mean your per month rental for two beta must hit almost four thousand and mind you uh, Mind you, uh, that's for the cheapest unit. Uh. That's for the cheapest unit. Uh. And today, right, this uh, figure does not even cover your monthly maintenance. So how much you must you charge? This is somewhat a uh, mixed development, you know. So that means to say for the cheapest two beta, you, you rent out at 3,008. Uh, it's not enough to cover your whole unit expenses, you know. Then you must go for how much? 4,005. Uh. 4,005 for two bader in Bedo. Wow, I tell you all. What ah, Singapore? Uh, best. Okay, best. Best. That means, that means to say uh, Singapore will just keep on going up only. Okay, government is not going to come with cooling measure. Then uh, prices is going to go up. Then our grandchildren, uh, our children will definitely be buying $1 million BTOs. Our grandchildren could be buying uh, $3 million. Uh, something like that. That's the concept. Uh. Then monthly rental, uh, monthly rental, if I'm not wrong, uh, based on my lifetime, HDB should be able to hit five figure. Uh. You all think realistic or not? I can I can share this thing with you. I mean, I'm not trying to be a naysayer, uh, but I can say safely say this thing. Uh, a lot of people are not buying first house, you know. A lot of people are actually buying their second property uh, after decoupling. Because this is a very popular concept ever since uh, five years ago. A lot of people are decoupling to buy a second property. Yeah. So I can safely tell you all, right? You can buy at this type of price. You can try to ask for this type of rental, but you must understand whether the tenants can afford it or not. If the tenants cannot afford it, right? And the interest rate keeps going up, right? Are you prepared uh, to pay to top up about two to three thousand every month, right? For the for your money installment. If you are not right, then I share one thing with you all. You all should not be investing in property. Especially not in new launches. Then a lot of you will tell, never mind, three years later when you collect key, you uh, you cannot rent out right? rental market not good, right? You sell la. Everybody is thinking the same thing, you know. <laughs> This is the scary part. Everybody is thinking the same thing. I cannot rent out, I sell. La. So you sell, I sell, everybody sell. How much are you going to sell it for? 100,000 for holding three years. This is okay, you know, when you are holding a second property. Le. It's okay if you are holding a second property. Le. Can you imagine, la? can you imagine la? those people who sold off their BTOs, sold off their HDB flats, la? 
then going through rental now, you know, going through rental now, and then buying a new launch thinking that they will make a killing. Uh. Then I shared a simple story with you, right? Three years down the road, you may be selling for a uh, gross profit. Uh. It's not even net, okay? Gross profit of 150,000. Okay, 150,000. But let's say your rental currently, right, for a normal HDB flat, we say you are very lucky. Uh. You are able to get at $3,000. Uh. So one year is 3006 uh, sorry, one year is 36,000. Three years down the road is almost uh, is 118,000. So 150,000 profit, gross profit, minus 118,000. Then what do you do? What do you just do? <laughs> what do you just do? It's crazy, you know, it's crazy for people to sell off their HDB flats, uh, go for renter. Uh. Then I can only tell you, you in the end, the profit, the so-called profit that you sold your house for, right, becomes the installment for the your landlord. Uh. It becomes the installment for landlord. If today you're selling without thinking of buying, right, then you please don't, please don't sell. Uh. I'm telling every owner out there, if you are selling because you think the profit is high, right? Please don't sell. Then you want to, you think profit is high, then you want to rent, rent until the price come down, then you go and buy, right? Please don't, please don't sell. You know why? Because the renter is going to kill you. The renter is going to kill you. You wipe out whatever profit that you think you are making. Because I can tell you one thing, uh, nobody, uh, nobody is now signing one year lease. Uh. Almost, I, 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 I have not, Heard about one year lease for the longest time already. That is one thing. And if you break lease, right, then they come after you, how? Of course, uh, there's no there, there's no uh, so-called rental, fixed rental law in Singapore that hold you accountable. La. Then after that, this is private settlement. Wa. But honestly speaking, it's not that simple, you know. If the landlord turns nasty, I uh, really want to bite you off. Uh, or those put right? Uh, then in the end... Yeah, this is the issue. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, please, please, please be prudent. Okay, market is not fantastic. Okay, market is not fantastic. If you are buying for own stay, go ahead. If you are buying for investment, then stop listening to others or listen to more people and then come to your own conclusion. Don't blindly just listen to one person or what the Facebook tell what Facebook tells you. <laughs> Basically, I'm also a voice on Facebook also. What, what I'm saying may not be 100% correct. You see, what I'm saying may not be 100% correct, but at least for those who know me, for my clients, my friends alike, they know that I always take the safer path. They know that I take the safer path. And I can tell you one thing. This is a seven-figure... Seven, seven uh, basically, most of the properties now are seven figure. La. Seven figure risk that you are taking. Uh, don't put your family's eggs into this one basket. You cannot afford to lose. Uh. Sorry to say this. You buy a property, you'll be prepared to hold for 20 years. Okay? Maybe you may sell along the way, but you must be prepared to hold for 20 years. If you are not prepared to hold for 20 years, right, then you don't buy. Please don't buy. Okay? That's my... Uh, humble two cents worth. Yes, Jason. Anything to conclude tonight? Mm, I think most very important is uh, you must know where you stand and then the situation uh, you are in uh, when you are definitely buying a, a property. Yeah, because uh, Feng Shui and uh, this uh, property price and things like that will vary from uh, property to property. Yeah, because for, for me, right, the way I share my views also with a consideration, with a outlook of the, the whole country as well. Lah. And I can see the what the government doing to actually help. Uh, I mean, it's a chicken and egg thing. Lah. So if, let's say, they want to boost business, uh, property price, and also this uh, uh, rental will sure shoot up high. Yeah, so, I mean, you have to do your math uh, to see whether your own work or your own career or your own business can support whatever you are paying yeah and not overstretch yourself even if you have good luck right may end up uh, also at some cases that is why uh, 
uh, dynasty actually fall. Uh, they overstretch they, they themselves, even though they, they are strong. Yeah, they spread themselves too thin. So I urge everybody, uh, before you make any choice, you can speak to Joel, you can speak to, to me. I can help you in terms of uh, feng shui or picking the right you need for your, your investment. Then in the end, we weigh uh, the dollar and cent, whether it's a worthwhile for, for you. La. So you you in the end, you destiny is in your in your hands. So in the end, you still make the decision. We are here to help you make that informed choice. La. So that's all I want to say. <laughs> yes, sorry, I was milk. Okay, so with that, we end our discussion on uh, District 16. Okay, yes, Jason. <laughs> mm. Million dollar question again. Which other areas? <laughs> uh, what's with the music? <laughs> you know, right? it's not on my side. Oh, sorry. The million dollar question must have the music come on. <laughs> uh, must have must have some sound effect. Sorry about that. Uh, that was my that was my uh the Facebook Facebook. I uh, accidentally uh skip to the next video. Okay, come. Uh this trick. What? List of the trick code. I think, I see on the yeah, I can see. Maybe I just step on. Do Do you know what's the new uh launches for BTO? A lot of plays, eh? Uh, I can cover, tell you one thing, ah. Basically, Mera? all the all the areas we cover got new BTO coming out. You know. Oh, how about Bukit Mera? Did we cover Bukit Mera? Bukit Mera? No, we haven't. We haven't touched that. That one also got new houses coming already. Yeah, I, I saw in the news. Wait, uh, 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 Bukit Merah is more like Queenstown, Tiong Bahru, that side. Yep, Queenstown, Tiong Bahru, District 3. Okay. okay. Shall we? Yes. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, on our next show, we'll cover uh, District 3. Okay, District 3. Uh, basically... Hey, wait. Need to see the date. <laughs> Forgot. Ba Yue Su Zhong Chiu Jie. Oh. On the tenth of uh, September. It's on a Saturday. Oh, yeah, it's on Saturday, correct. Wow. Mm, can we do on Friday? <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I mean Saturday is a uh, family day. Uh, I mean maybe mm. gathering at, at, at yeah the la, jie ma. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so uh, we will do it. Eh? Oh wait, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, we will do it on the ninth. Yeah, nine nine. 9月9号, wow, sounds good. Okay, 9th of September, we'll do our next one on District 3. Okay, uh, Bukit Merah side, lah. so it'll be uh, Queenstown, Ang Mo Kyo. Hey, blah, 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 sorry, Queenstown, Tiong Bahru, sorry, sorry. Uh, Tiong Bahru also got the 1.4 million HDB. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, what was Henderson what? Lah? Henderson Wave. Lah. Yeah. You, you know that house haven't even MOP yet, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually true. a three years flat, you know. So, y'all, for most viewers, y'all know, right? Haven't reached MOP, you sell the house. What reason you have, right? I mean, I, I'm, I'm not speculating anything. Huh? I'm just say, so, saying that usually mm -hmm. if you haven't MOP, you sell the house, right? There's only that few reasons. Huh? But I'll go and check it out. I'll, I'll share with y'all on the next show. Okay? So, yes, that's all for tonight. Uh, Jason, you have anything else that you want to cover? Uh, catch more of our TikTok. Uh, hopefully, you <laughs> like it and uh, uh, ask more questions uh, when we have our show. La. <laughs> yep, uh, we'll definitely be doing more of that. So, uh, see you all in the next one. Uh, and as I always say, right, 
A home is like a recipe. There's no nothing that is perfect, but we'll definitely be able to help you find one that suits you and your loved ones. Okay? So, Jason, Joel, let's make you do well. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.